AI-generated avatars keep getting better and better, and more platforms are rolling out options for creating them. HeyGen just released their latest model, called Avatar 4. In this video, I want to show you 10 awesome ways to use HeyGen to create AI-generated videos. Okay, I guess pretty soon I don't have to make videos anymore, but uh, that was AI generated using the new model inside of HeyGen that just came out. So I'm going to show you that. And I have 10 different ways to create these AI avatar videos that I think you're going to find practical. Okay, we'll get started here inside of HeyGen. If you haven't seen HeyGen before, it's an AI avatar generator. So I'll show you a bunch of different ways you could use it here inside of the HeyGen platform. It's not a sponsored video, but I've used HeyGen for a couple of years now. I think it's the most popular AI video generators out there. There are other ones I like as well, but I'll focus this video on HeyGen and all kinds of different ways you could use it. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you is they just released Avatar version four. So I'm gonna go to the Avatar tab right over here and you'll see all kinds of different avatars. So this is the one I used in the beginning of this video. And these under professional, these are gonna always use their latest models here. These are professionally created by HeyGen. And then if you click any of them, you could go ahead and choose from a number of different looks. So you could see they have different outfits available. They have different scenes available to choose from. They're looking in different directions here. And then you could create your video from here. So what I did was, let's say we like this one right here. We'll click on it. It's gonna say create in AI studio. You could choose between landscape and portrait depending on what you're using this for. And then that's gonna bring you to this AI studio here. And here it just starts the video and all you have to do is double click right here, paste your script or type your script over here. You could listen to the voice over here so you could play the audio. And if you like it, just press submit. That's how I created the intro for this video. It's really that simple to use these new models here inside of HeyGen. Now, HeyGen does have a free plan, so you could test that out. It will have a watermark, and then you could upgrade if it's a good fit for you. I've had a subscription for a long time now. So the new Avatar 4, that's the number one upgrade I wanted to show you. Number two is this right here, which is available with the new Avatar 4 upgrade, where you could turn a photo into these AI avatars. Let me click on this. This is really incredible. So all you have to do is drag a photo over here. You want something that's really clear view of face, a 720p resolution. I'm just gonna show you with an example here. Here's one. You could do this again in portrait as well. And then you just paste your script over here. So I took a script from my last video I uploaded. YouTube automatically transcribes the videos for you. So I copy and pasted the script over here. Okay, and then if you want to use a different voice, you could actually use different voices here. So they have this whole HeyGen library of other voices. That's just a voice that matches up with this person here. And then you could go ahead and generate the video. Let me just show you a few seconds of how this turned out. ChatGPT came out back in November 2022, and it's gone through a lot of changes since then. In this video, I want to show you every single feature ChatGPT offers so you can get the most out of it. That's really, really good. That's from one single photo. And we got this right here. And it still has a little bit to go, but it's just such a massive improvement over the years that I've kept up with AI avatars, pretty much every six months to eight months, it just gets substantially better. And this version four is just unbelievable. Okay, the third thing I wanted to show you is you could type in any text prompt or use a URL and generate the video. That's actually the very first thing on top here. So let me just show you, if I click on a URL, I could literally type in any type of URL. Let's say I wanted to promote HeyGen here. I could go ahead and generate. Again, you could do topic as well. It will go ahead and write the different scenes for you. So here's scene one, HeyGen is an innovative tool that allows users to create engaging spokesperson videos. And then you could go ahead and edit the prompt if you want. And then you click on generate the video from here. Then it takes you over here to the studio. So this is the avatar that it picked for me. You could change that if you want. This is my AI clone, by the way. I'll show you this in a little bit. You could, again, choose from all these options. They have the different looks. I really like these professional ones. These are probably the best quality ones you could choose from. And again, different poses, different outfits. And then you just have to press generate over here. They have a lot of different options that we'll get into, but if you just press generate, you could title the video and then you could submit that job. And it brings you back to your project tab. And as soon as it's ready, you could go ahead and click on it and preview it. Number four on my list is creating videos from templates. And if you don't have a video background, these are really, really useful because you could basically combine multiple different things like a PowerPoint, like text and the AI avatars all in one video. 
So for example, I'll choose this option right here, Worldwide News. It's gonna bring us to this page and I'll show you a little bit more on this page now when you come to this page to make edits. So a few things you could do is you could click on the AI avatar and you could resize them. So if you don't like how big they are, you could just shrink them in the corner like how I make my videos, I'm just in the corner here. But you could do any type of size. It already has the background removed because of this template. That's one of the looks that's available here. And you could change the look and replace the avatar too. So if you wanted this guy to be more casual, you could choose that. You could go ahead and change the size of the shots. So let's say you want this kind of look, right? The circle look that I use in my videos, you could go ahead and do it that way. And as you look down here, they actually have different scenes, right? So this is like a little clip they cut to. So you would replace this clip. Then you come back to the news anchor here. They've shrunk them down here. You could go ahead and replace that if you like, and then change any of these texts that you see over here. And if you wanna add your own media, you click over here. You could go ahead and go to your library and anything you've uploaded, you could add. You could also add music. You could also add different video clips. They have a ton of video clips here you could choose from, and they have a ton of images too. So this is a full blown studio for making your videos. You could do all your editing right here down here in this edit timeline. Okay, number five on my list is translating any video to ton of different languages. So translate a video option. Now this is not just a simple translation. It literally does lip sync and it could be your video. You could also go to use video URL here and just paste a URL from like a YouTube video. So I'll do that here. And then it says create new translation right here and it will auto detect the language the video is in, so English here, and then you would choose a target language. So let's say I choose Japanese here. Detect a speaker, it's only one speaker in this case, and everything else I'm gonna keep the same, and I'm gonna submit this for translation, and this may take a little bit of time, so I'll show you a finished one I have already. 2023年からほぼ毎日使っている私のお気に入りの now, how good is that? That was in Japanese. You have some options here. So turning on captions, you could enhance the voice here. You could remove background music if you already had background music, the original clip, which this did not. I mean, that's really, really good. Okay, number six is one of my favorites because I do a lot of presentations. So this one is PowerPoint or PDF to video. This one's interesting. All you have to do is drop a PowerPoint file or a PDF file, so I'll drop a PDF file here. I'm gonna use this PDF here, so this PDF is for prompting ChatGPT to analyze different documents. So it's just from one of our courses. I'll go ahead and upload this here. Okay, then all you have to do is add a script. So if you have a script already, you could add one, or if you have a recording or you wanna record audio, you could also do that. So you could add recording, it's gonna get access to your microphone or upload an existing recording here. Then I'm gonna to go to the Hagen library. You could choose any of these voices, right? Ton of different accents. These are all the different languages, by the way, you could choose from. And then you could choose one of these avatars right over here. So click on one of these avatars that you like. Let's use this guy again. And I'm gonna actually shrink this guy down. It's gonna be right here, so perfect. We'll place him right over here. So this is gonna be just a regular 16 by nine video here. And here's just a few seconds of that video. I'm going to show you 50 different prompts for analyzing any documents using ChatGPT. Now the next one is perfect for creating organic social media content, user-generated avatars. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, this one, create user story videos. Okay, these are user-generated avatars and it's on this tab right here. So I've been using the professional one, they got the lifestyle ones. Now this UGC one is what I wanna show you. So these look a lot more organic for social, right? And you could create some of these, I'll show you that in a second. But let's say this one right here, I'll click on it and you get three different looks and you have different voices to choose from as well. So I'm gonna just choose this one right here. Okay, this time I'm gonna do a portrait looking video. Okay, then as always, you have your script over here. So I'm gonna double click, load it up here and you wanna type your own script. I just found a really interesting way to learn AI. Let me show you how it works. Okay, the next on my list is you could generate new avatars and you could even clone yourself with this with different looks. So right here, I'm gonna create a new avatar, hyper-realistic avatars, okay? So you could upload and record a video to create a lifelike avatar with realistic motion. Now with the plan I have, you get one, but if you upgrade to the higher plans, you could get multiple different avatars that are custom made like this. You could also create the photo avatar, which I already showed you, 
and you could generate avatars. This is really interesting. You could literally type in text and generate the avatar by describing it and then decide the orientation and the pose and everything else. Now, I prefer the photo ones. So this is my hyper-realistic avatar over here. Let me just press play on it. Your instant avatar is ready. Feel free to create videos with it. So this is the one I created a few months ago. I actually wanna regenerate this one soon and make a different video about creating these custom avatars, but it is really, really easy to create them. You literally record a couple minutes worth of a video, upload a photo, and then you're ready to go. And then you could add new looks to it. So you have 300 different looks available. So I could use my own video so I could look a different way, wear a different outfit or whatever I want here, or just use photos to do that. So that's really nice. And it trains it on what you look like and what you sound like too. I don't think you got the sound perfectly right, but again, this was from a few months back. Now, two of the most interesting ones I saved for last year. So if you go to labs, they have this option right here that recently came out called Video Podcast. And if you've ever watched my video on Notebook LM, Notebook LM creates audio podcast between two people from your own sources. So from your own PDF files, for example. Well, this takes it to the next level and actually takes that PDF file and creates an AI podcast that is video format. So these are some of the ones I have over here. Now it's not perfect just yet, it's brand new, still in beta, but let me show you what ends up happening. You upload a PDF file, and then you go through this process, this is what you end up getting. So for example, if you're speaking to someone with no prior knowledge, what would that entail? Yeah, so one of the prompts suggests, explain this topic in a way that's simple and engaging, really breaking it down so that even if you're not familiar with the subject, you're not lost. Absolutely. It's like laying out a welcome mat for your listener. And then there's another one. Oh, like for students, right? Yeah, exactly. It's not perfect, but very interesting once they do improve it. And I imagine the new AI avatar they just released, the version four, is gonna replace how you make these pretty soon. And these should get a whole lot better. Right now there's a natural hand movement that happens quite a lot on these. So I wouldn't quite use this just yet for practical applications. It's really fun to play with right now, but I wanted to point that out because I know that option inside of Notebook LM is so popular. To get a video version of it that works really good, I think it's gonna kind of go viral pretty soon once these get dialed in. And inside of Labs, they are also working on this one right here, Interactive Avatars which is also really interesting. There's a couple of options here, but I wanted to keep this video to 10. I think there's probably 25 different things I could have covered inside of HeyGem. And this one is also not quite there yet. That's why I think it's still inside of Labs. But this is how this works. You could literally have a live conversation with an AI avatar, like real instant conversation. So these are the different public avatars they have available. You could also use one of your own interactive avatars. So if you click this, you could clone yourself and become an interactive avatar. I actually covered that in a different video. And I'm gonna go ahead and use just one of these examples to show you what it looks like. So I would chat with Judy right here. This is Judy. So I'm gonna say chat now. Hey Judy, I'm new here. What's, uh, what can you help me with exactly? I can help you with onboarding, compliance training, and understanding our company policies and values. Okay, what's the very first thing as a new employee that I need to do? Complete your compliance training. Oh, that's the very first thing I need to do? Can you tell me more about that? Sure. Compliance training helps you understand our policies on data protection, ethics, and professional conduct to keep everyone safe and informed. Okay, got it. I'll come back soon. Sounds great. Feel free to come back anytime when you're ready to begin your training or if you have more questions. Looking forward to it. Okay, when you create your own interactive avatars, it's really nice because you could choose from these avatars what they look like. So that was a little preview of what that would look like. There's a little bit of delay when they respond, but it's getting better and better every time I've tested it. Then you have a knowledge base here. So you could actually create a new knowledge base and have all this information into that knowledge base. So then the Avatar pulls that information into it here and you could integrate it with other things. So I actually had this embedded on my website and I've actually had this 
enter a Zoom meeting. So you could have them inside of a Zoom meeting, for example. Again, this is in early beta, but I think once they dial this in, this is just gonna be incredible. I think a lot of websites are gonna have an embedded interactive avatar that has access to a knowledge base that somebody in that company gave it. So he understands exactly what that company has to offer. It could be for sales, for customer service. It's gonna be really, really fascinating to see where these interactive avatars go. And a little while ago, I did cover a video all about interactive avatars and how I added it to my website. So I'll go ahead and link that video here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.